What's up guys, Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development, and I'm actually filming this after I filmed tutorial number 10 because I failed at it, and I didn't realize it until after I filmed tutorial number 10. So there are going to be some things that you won't recognize, but you'll recognize in the next tutorial. Okay, so Delta Time. I've probably filmed this tutorial about 35 times because I cannot explain it properly. So, what I did is I went on the left 2D forums and I found an awesome post by uh, Krizu, and... Tim A42 replied, and it was a great explanation of Delta Time. Let me just read you one little thing about it, this one little line. Delta Time is the time it takes for the computer to go through all the processing slash rendering for a single frame. It is dynamically updated so it can fluctuate depending on what level of processing the last frame is required. So, let me just explain to you why we need Delta Time, because that is basically what you're going to mainly need to know. But I will put a link to this so you guys can understand it, this page. I'll put a link to it in the description because it is a very important thing to understand, not just use and not have any idea what it is. Um, so, Delta Time is used. I'm just going to refer to it as DT because that's what we're going to refer to it as in the code. DT is used. So, right now, when we move the character, it may move faster. It will move faster if you're on a faster computer, but it'll move slower if it's on a slower computer. So to make sure that it moves, that the character moves the same speed in all computers, we have to use DT. Now, before we can start using DT inside of our function, we need to include in the arguments. So that means just type it in between these two parentheses, and that also means you have to go into main.lua and type it in between these two parentheses. Um, and make sure you always have DT as an argument in function love.update. I just left that out in the beginning because I knew you guys wouldn't quite get it yet. But now. You need to have it, and just ignore the this game state stuff for right now because that is for my that's for tutorial number ten. Like I said, I filmed that before, so just like, try to ignore that. Just add dt as a. I always add dt as an argument to any function you need to use it in. Okay, so back to player .lua, What we need to be focusing on. Um, oh god, I got a burp, but I can't. Ugh. Okay, so to use dt, we just need to times every equation that has to do with the player moving by dt. So multiply all these by dt. Times dt dot times dt. Now, this, now you have leveled it out so it'll move the same speed on every computer, but at least for me, the character's going to be moving really slow at 50. Actually, that's for everybody, right? Because we just use dt. I'm going to set it to 200. So now, it should be running the same speed. You got, your character should be moving the same speed as mine. And by the way, I'm typing on my new SciTech Clips 2 keyboard that I keep talking about that's super amazing. Okay. Oh my god, I did this so freaking much. Okay, love 0.8.0. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Sorry, that's from tutorial number 10. Please ignore that. I will change that right now. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. You will understand it in the next tutorial. Alright. Compress 6 items. Archive.love, use.love, open with. Oh, I caught it that time before I opened it up in the zombie game. Okay. And now he moves. Look at that. How awesome is that? He moves kind of blocky, which is why I'm going to be doing an advanced tutorial sometime after I finish these in the future about how to make the player move a little bit smoother because right now he just kind of like immediately just goes at speed. And there's a way to kind of make it like, like in Mario, he kind of builds up slowly to how fast he can go. If that makes sense. Um, but uh, I leave you with: Should I start making the advanced tutorials now? And, but continue making my basic tutorials, but also include an advanced tutorial on like camera movement, uh, collision, all that stuff, or more advanced collision, and I mean advanced player movement and all that. Should I start that now while continuing my basic tutorials, or should I finish my basic tutorials first? So leave a comment about that. Follow me on Twitter at monkeybacon. Uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends.